Hey guys, it's Tepco Sack Repair. Today we're going to be talking about how to do a leak down test on a GX200 or a GX160 or in these Honda engines with the uh, angled cylinders and the push rod uh, overhead valves. So um, this is on a uh, generator, on an EU3000 generator. And the problem with this one is it's running really rich, so it's fouling out spark plugs. As you can see, this plug right here, it's black. Uh, it's fouling out spark plugs. Uh, it's blowing smoke. You can see by the... Uh, the cage here, you can kind of see the black build up on there. All right, so when you do a compression check, the compression is not real bad. It's on the it's on the lower side, but it's it's in a you know respectable area. But with these four strokes, uh, it has a auto decompression on them, so you you know the compression is not really the best way to check them. It's just going to kind of give you a range. So what you want to do is a leak down test. I talk about this leak down test quite a bit because it's important. And here we have uh, the leak down tester that I'm using. And all I did so far is just got access to the side of the engine, so I took off the uh, the cover, all right, and I took off the baffle. Real simple, a couple 10 millimeter bolts, and they're all off. So um, we got that out of the way. I got the right now the cylinder is at uh, bottom dead center. So what I did was I took the spark plug out, I moved it up to top dead center. And you know that because you'll have uh, play in your um, in your rockers, and then I popped the the rockers off. And you know the easy way to do this is that if you if you remove the, uh, if you push the rockers out of the way, your valves are going to be completely shut. And then you move the, the piston all the way down the bottom dead center, and then you can pressurize it and be fine. If you have it up a top dead center and you're just a little bit off, and you pressurize it with your leak down tester, sometimes it'll push the piston and just rotate everything back down again. You got to start over again. So uh, with these engines, really easy. And I'll show you what I do. Um, so you can push these springs down. Real easy. All right. So what you do here is you just take it, push it, and uh, move it over to the center, okay? So see, so I just pushed it over, and now, now the valve is all the way up. These don't have the same retainers and stuff, right? They just have these little caps on them. Uh, so when you put them back on again, it's real simple. You just kind of push it down and slide this back over it, and you're good to go. So we have it. now I have the engine at bottom dead center, and I have the, um, the rockers off the valve, so I know the valves are completely closed. So let's hook up the, uh, the uh, leak down tester and see what we got. I have, I'm running 40 pounds through this. So remember, we're going to set up our, uh, our gauge here. So we're at zero. All right. And then we're going to take our line. I have the, uh, the connector already in there. It's just like, uh, this hose is just like a compression tester hose, but it has no internals in it. So it doesn't have the valve in it. If you have the valve in it from the compression tester, make sure you take the valve out. So I'm going to hook this up and we'll see what we got. All right, hooked in. So let's see where we're at. All right, we're at 28, 26, about 27 pounds leak down. Okay, that's no good. That's going to be our problem. So let's find out where it's coming from. So I have some coming out of here. There's very little. That's probably about 4% coming out of there, 5%. But here's where our problem is. Okay, that's a lot coming out of there. You can hear the difference there. So we got something going on with our intake valve. I'm going to go ahead and pull the uh, head off. And check it out and see what's going on but yeah 27% leak down is way too much and what's happening there is when it's running because it's got so much leak down passing you take valve it's blowing air back and forth in and out of the carburetor causing it to run really rich it's gonna cause surging it's gonna cause it to foul plugs out it's gonna cause it to shut off so if you have a um, you know generator running trying to keep things running in your house because your power went down you can't have this thing running rich because it's gonna foul out it's gonna uh, you're gonna have trouble so all right, guys, that's all there is to it. Leak down test on a uh, Honda engine. The GX is the GX200. Uh, use the right tools, figure it out. Diagnose your problems before you spend money on them. That, that's my best recommendation to you guys and best advice, okay? I uh, hope this helps you out. Please hit the subscribe button, like. Hit the bell for further notifications. Until next time, guys, it's Tepco Sack Repair.